During this video, I'll be taking through the recent changes to the One Network map. For the first release of 2023, we're bringing all users a faster, smoother and overall more pleasant map experience with high resolution icons and seamless scrolling and panning. The One Network map will now be powered by OpenStreetMap, a collaborative and editable geographic database of the world which has richer data and detail. Hundreds of millions of monthly users interact with services derived from its data, from the UN to the British Red Cross to Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon Logistics and Uber. Now One Network is joining the party. We've been hard at work behind the scenes on this upgrade to ensure all existing traffic management data, both historical and future works, plus all map integrations and embeds will transition seamlessly. I will now be showing you some of the process improvements that have been made. Make sure you're logged into your One Network account. Several functions will be accessible by right clicking. This is to improve workflow speed and accuracy. Accessing Street View previously required you to click and drop the orange man on the map in the correct location. Now you can more accurately right click at the exact part of the road you want to view and select View in Street View. For our traffic management and works planning customers, right clicking on a road will now also display the draw point, draw line and draw area options, which were previously accessed by clicking on the ruler icon in the bottom left hand corner of the map. When you're on the works planning module, you can now right click on a road and select works planning. This will automatically show you information within 200 metres of the point. For our traffic management customers, plotting a road closure and diversion route has changed. Plotting closures or diversions on the map is now easier and more intuitive than ever before. A road closure on one network will now show as a red dotted line as opposed to a bold red line. And when creating a diversion route after plotting point A, you no longer have to drop the point B pinpoint at the end of the route. Instead of having to click and drag, you can simply click where you would like point B to be located and the route will automatically adjust and update. If, however, you prefer to plot the diversion route from point A to point B and drag the diversion route to the correct route, this functionality is still available. This should make planning closures and plotting diversions smoother and faster for all of our users. We hope you enjoy using the new and improved One Network map. As always, if you have any questions, please contact our support team over on support at one.network and we will get back to you as soon as possible with an answer to your question.